Oh my goodness, this game is made by Nintendo. Could it be a Mario game, oh or is it a Kirby game? Or perhaps is it a Sonic game? No, it's made by Nintendo. It's Metroid Dread. It could, okay, it could be Metroid Dread. This could be coming out in October, you never know. Probably not, but... Probably not. Metroid 3. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Metroid 5 just got announced. Literally yesterday was E3. Hey! It is Super Metroid. It's Super Metroid. Welcome to Lion on the Wolf Super Metroid Adventure Deluxe. Holy on the SNES. Shit. It's a SNES. Um, we both love this game a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you, I think, probably a little more so than me. I mean, I, I'm a Metroid um, fan through and through. Me too, but I think you're a little, you're like more into Metroid than me. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. There's also somebody reading this out loud. No, there's not. Yes, there is. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zeds. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. I, that you need to shot, I shot a missile Wait, very, that's from Super Metroid. No, this is from original Metroid. But it's redone in Super Metroid. Okay. You knew that already. I next fought the Metroids on their home world. SR388. Don't you fucking <laughs> eradicated them. Except for a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. Don't you make fun of the hey, important Metroid. I loved Samus Metroid. Returned. Wait. Samus, Samus returned. Returns. <laughs> Samus returned uh, a game back to her local Target. <laughs> <laughs> that was Samus cool. returns from her vacation in, in California. I personally Samus delivered it to the Galactic a Research <laughs> Station at, at Ceres so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. Yo, mother brain, you ready to get brained? <laughs> oh no. Thank you, Samus. You've saved the world again. The, the last Metroid is find out to were astounding. The world they discovered the that the powers of the Metroid might be or might be harnessed for the good of civilization. I hope a fucking dragon doesn't steal it. That would be dangerous. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt, but I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt. When I picked up a distress alert from the place that I had just left. So I was like, oh like, fuck. That's like some. I really hope that there isn't that's a like some dragon. Base, that's there. like basically some space porn right there. I had I, hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt. I picked up a distress signal. Oh, ooh. No. ooh. Whose pussy is in Sarah's station was <laughs> under attack. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, she... I hope a giant space dragon doesn't come out and steal the baby... The last singular baby Metroid. Space colony Did you save arc. the baby? <laughs> Let's go. Hey, editor of this current show. You don't have to say you, editor. You know it's gonna be me. Can you... It might be me. Anyways. Wait, where the, um, what? Why is that shoot? Hello? You wanted this... Okay, okay. You know, it's, no, it's fine. I just gotta get used to it. Um, I'm playing right now. Me, Lionel Hunter. Man, boy, child. You wanted to use the original I did. SNES. I wanted to play on the screen. This is how it works. It's classic. It's okay, I just need a second to adjust. Alright, brother. Oh good, it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of like nothing. I'm, I hope nobody set a self destruct sequence to blow up something so uh, oh. oh remember the last time that we saw this room and it was not empty and it had a little baby metroid oh no row row those poor scientists so you can you can okay take the right? baby metroid and you can run right oh, yep. that's how it works oh. right okay just press a to pick it up everybody okay. knows that oh shit it uh. didn't work uh, Wait, oh no, there's a giant fucking dragon. Who saw that coming? I hope we don't have to fall down a long corridor and shoot it. No, that's my Troy Prime 3. 
Dude, Metroid? Metroid Prime 3, same as Ghost PP. Metroid Prime 3, the worst one. Really? Yes. Didn't... I thought it was good. No. Oh, okay. I thought 2 was the bad one. How do I explain it correctly? No. Uh, Metroid Am Prime... I... Metroid Prime 1 is like, a really well seared like, medium steak, right? You just sure. want to eat until you're done eating it, because it's so oh, fun. Okay. Oh, shit. Um... Metroid Prime 2 is like <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, shrimp. It was like a shrimp meal. Wait, isn't there a dash? Yes, but you is get it, it later. No, like, can't you run faster just like raw? Yeah, maybe not. Just one of the buttons. Um, maybe. Okay. Okay, really recommend it. You should. You left you with 20 seconds. Okay, so Metroid Prime 3 sucks. Yes, because it's... Okay, so... Metroid Prime 1 is like this amazing open world adventure where you just have to fucking explore this whole entire planet that's like going to shit, basically. Yeah. And save everybody going on. Metroid Prime 2, you basically go into like an alternate dimension and you have to like save somebody. Oh god. And it's really interesting and crazy. Oh my god. And then Metroid so Prime 3 is like there. a fucking railroad... Oh fucking Pokemon Snap version of, of Metroid Prime. Okay. Where you're basically on rails and you have like three areas but you have to keep going back to them over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Yeah. Doing kind of like the same things but different because you get more power-ups but like it's not as well paced as an open world game where you have to like go and get different power-ups from different places. Okay. Like I remember one moment in Metroid Prime that made me jaw drop is when it makes you go from like spoilies oh my god sorry um it makes you go from like the farthest point you've reached i haven't played metroid prime but okay. i intend to well it makes you go from the farthest place you've reached at that point in time mm -hmm. all the way back basically to where your ship is to get a power up which i know you haven't played metroid prime but uh speedrunners have figured out a way to get that power up early and like break the game it's awesome man. But if I ever have you play my trade primal, I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, we'll get to it. I still have to play my trade primal too, but I know it's good. That makes sense. Hmm? So that makes sense. I don't know how much I want to play my trade primal either, because it's not as good. Um, that was like the only one we had. It was prime three. Mm. That and I think somebody made the dumbass decision to buy other M. Yeah. I don't think that was either of us. No, it was our brother. I I like played other M and I got like I I faced this problem with every Metroid game that I ever played um, up until Super I think, mm -hmm. where I would just start the game and I'd be like okay this is cool, and then I would get to a point where I just had no idea what the fuck I was supposed to do. And I like went everywhere and tried everything and it just nothing worked. And I had that problem with Other M. Other M's a trash game though, so. We'll so I hear. Worry. Is this supposed to be where Mother Brain first was? Yes. This is the original planet that you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to yeah, yeah. I know. I played Zero Mission, okay. Okay. Oh wow. I just realized I've like played one, two, and three essentially. Mm-hmm. Because I played Zero Mission, I played Samus Returns, and I've played Super. I tried playing Fusion. Ugh, I'm sorry for you. Fusion's good, bad. It's like a bittersweet. You have to like know what you're in for. Because the whole point of the game is that you're weaker than Samus has ever been. So like a lot of stuff's more dangerous, but that also makes it less fun if you're not willing to be like challenged. Yeah. Is there any, like, really lore hard. to this eyeball? No. Cool. Just it's... scans you. Okay. You don't have bombs yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. You well, do, oh, however. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm a little rusty. Just, just some growing pains. I think the last time I played this game was, like, probably two years ago. I love like the just I I love like the atmospheric horror kind of aspect, even though it's not really super horror-ish. No, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. 
Metroid's a lot more horror um, by suggestion than horror by sure showing. Yeah, and it, it's just like you're like all alone on a planet with aliens. Mm -hmm. I just think that that's real cool. You know? Yeah. Don't you love when you immediately I mean, when you get a missile and you have to use all of them just open up one door? I love the little jingle we're not hearing right now. I just I dropped it off. I, I miss the music, honestly. But, like, it was echoing in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. So, I, I don't. I was sick of it. Isn't there, like, an, an E tank in here? Yes. You can't get it right now. Oh, but yeah, because, like, I don't, have bomb, I don't have the bombs. There it is. You could try wall jumping if you're fucking feeling nasty. There's no way you can get that by wall jumping. Oh, yeah. I watched Peter. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Thanks. <laughs> that's that's gonna be a pass through me from from low old me. Oh, and also like, I don't know. I don't know if you were thinking we would like pass or not, or if you just wanted to. If you just wanted me to go through. And no, you I'm were, just like, watching you play Super Metroid. Okay. I'm gonna tell you if I feel like, like showing you a secret that you probably. Yeah, that's something. what I was gonna say. Like, if you, if you, if I'm missing something, just like call it out. Be like, hey, yo, there's thingy over there. You haven't even gotten near anything where I could tell you anything. Cool. I might be able to teach you easier ways to beat some of these bosses if you don't know. Ooh. Um, I know the, like, grappling hook for the bug one. Mm -hmm. I know that one. Uh... <laughs> this game is great, but the final one the boss is a giveaway. I think the hardest boss is like the ghost one. I I, I remember I've having had more trouble with Ridley personally, Rid but that's I, just me. I remember beating Ridley in like one try and fighting was it Fantoon? Is that its name? Yeah. Fighting Fantoon like a million times. That's right. Okay. It's gotta be like a faster way to No. Unless you're really into wall jumping. In this game, in Super Mario, hell yeah. In this oh game, God, it's no. janky is all fuck, and that's what I kind of love about it. Okay. Maybe that's just it's me. Fine. It's fine. It feels like intentionally clunky. Because mm -hmm. you're still somebody in like a giant nose. I think that might be giving it a little bit too much props. Boy. This, no. this is the this is built in the like night. don't get me wrong this is a brilliant game but I feel like making the wall jump fucking shitty and funky was more of a product than its time of its time than an intentional decision. Well, think about games great. that came out before this that had better wall jumping mechanics. Like, like I don't know fucking there's that one NES game that's basically just like a ultra platform. Like Strider. I think yeah Strider. That has like almost clunkier wall jumping. Am I a dumbass? I think so. Sometimes. Not like in general, but like in this particular case, yes. Okay. I would believe so. But, you know, I'm willing to be prepared. This is like a nothing thing, right? No, it's a thing. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. It's a nothing thing. It is a nothing thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, for my current abilities. I'm not really taking that into account, to be honest. This game has really good pacing, no matter where you really go. So you get the kind of upgrades you need to do something that you need to do, no matter what you do. Here we go. There's a ROM hack version of this game called Super Metroid Impossible. And if I ever get the balls to do it, I'll try to figure out how to just like, hurry it onto my Switch. Nice NES Mini. Ooh. Wait, this is the map, right? I believe so. Cool. Now I know how to get to Brainstorm. It tells you some important shit. Well, there's several different ways to get to Brainstorm. Uh, you want to go for that thing at the bottom? The morphing ball. 
I want to go away. That's kind of the thing that's like directly above you, but you kind of have to go around to get to. Does that make sense? Like, you see the corridor on the map above you? Yeah. You just need to get through there, but you have to fall from the top, and you can't get to it from where you are. And I believe that's even more fun. The bombs or something else is important enough to go for. Because I know they give you more fall bombs, like, early as fuck. Oh, you can finally save. Oh my god. Cholesterol. Oh, I thought you were gonna go for the Michael Myers right now. No. Cool. That one's played out. <laughs> Especially on our show. Yes. Definitely a power up. No, you need what? Oh. You need the the what's it called? The North Pole bombs, which is where I'm trying to play. Oh, oh, should I go save the animals? Hmm? So should I go save the animals? That's not even how you do it. You're supposed to go to where you're going to mm -hmm. save them at the end of the game. But you know, obviously you gotta do it. Well, or we could have our commenters um, donate money to us, like a GDQ, so we could um, kill or save the game. What, 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 what commenters? The legend and shame is so... Oh, so me. And all the, the bots that have left us comments oh, yeah. towards sex. Oh, and that one guy who was talking about, like, Luigi. Uh-huh. For, like, a long time. <laughs> he was talking about <laughs> Luigi for a long time! Yay! Yay! The most important upgrade. Bombs. You can sequence break so hard with these. You have to be good okay. though. Oh god, no. Wait, is this where you have to fight the Yes. Oh, no. You've oh, fallen I... into my classic trap. Oh, where I didn't explain to you very well what was going on and how to you are fighting each other. It's okay, he's really weak. Because he's a fucking version. I'm pretty sure I like boss to this. Well, you saved, so don't worry about it. So Samus was raised by Chozo, yes. Yes. I, I like wish I was. She was given Chozo for the Yeah. Yes. Metroid lore. Yeah. So I mean, that's I mean, why most of our outfits. Why am I not oh my god, no. I should be using missiles. Um so she was Ooh, raised, thing. she was raised by Chozos and then um Yes. Cool. First game over to the, <laughs> to the first boss. Alright. You know, that's what I really love about Classy. Zero Mission more than almost any other remake I've ever played. Nikki Samus. No, what? No, what, what? No, that it tells you the story of, like, Samus's origins. Oh, yeah. In, and there's, like, extra areas that weren't in the original game, which is what makes Ooh. playing that game, like, more worthwhile oh, yeah. in your time. Because there's also a mission right after it, which Wait, is wasn't when it? she gets, like, locked out of her suit and has the zero suit. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> and you actually that. literally beat the game by... by yeah. Yeah, Climbing into a, a, a fucking space pirate ship and getting the fuck out. Oh no. It's dope as fuck. Wasn't. Doesn't she have like a specific like chosen mentor? Am I, I think misremembering so. that from Zero Mission? No. Cool. Hey, did you see that one? Yeah. Do you still have bombs? Uh, no. Okay. Wait, do I? I was gonna say if you had. I got it from the that chozo. I know. I was asking because like. It, it's is it a chozo or a chozo statue? No, it's like a it's like a it's like a, a crafted chozo statue, I believe. Okay. But it's not like an actual member of the chozo race. No. Okay. 
It's just an angie. It's just an angie chose up. Angie burp. It's an angie chose up. Angie burps too. Angie burps to the movie, the sequel. Wow, they make me use missiles to get in, that's bullshit. Damn, fuck this game. This game sucks. If you don't want to play it on our show, then I will play it on my show. No, I'm having fun. Okay. This is this is a fucking groovy, chill time Hell so yeah. far. And probably will be the whole time. Dude, it's I like love the, it's that kind of game. Yes. <gasps> Now it's short time. Now I'm really feeling it. Oh my god, dude, plays it really cool. Like, two is, two is like optional, but one is not optional. Oh, one you have to play. That's very good. Oh, I also realize I'm like mashing X right next to the microphone. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, nobody who's watching. Whoa, they might, they might. If anyone's do watching. A comment. I'm about, sorry. About the Angie button, button mashing. This episode is called just me. Angie Mankies. No, nah, 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 baby. This episode is called a Groovy Good Metro Attack. Okay. Episode 1. Hey, should we stop putting numbers in the titles of our videos so that we get views? No. Are you gonna keep asking me that until I change my answer? No, it's more of like a, a fun poking, uh, poking poke at Game Grumps, who is a channel that I love. And my poking fun at them comes out of a place of love and respect. Because, like, I totally get it. If we Mis were Mis Mr. 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 Hanson likes, likes the monies, and I don't blame him because he has to pay a whole staff. And meanwhile, we we go here and do a circle jerk and we get it happens without a fucking week. As a way, yeah. Kingdom Hearts was a interesting time for the, the production of our show. Would you like the penis and mushrooms? Oh, I love penis. And oh my gosh, you got it. Well, at least the lovely audience gets to hear the amazing Metroid music while we sit here in the kind of awkward silence. Yeah. That's not that awkward. Do I have to? I wasn't, even, I wasn't even gonna give you a hit. I know this game. Pretty, pretty alright. I've played a Metroid. i played a Metroid game. Wait, is that the other one, the like, golden? statue the other door I think it's the yeah I mean it's good to have it on your map but it's not that important to go yeah, to yeah you know what fuck it hug go shaboom there's a speedrun percent that's like fill in map percent <laughs> so you like fill in the map percent it's kill check out Okay, so like, if I was playing the Super Metroid and Zelda, or Link to the Past, Randomizer, yes, I would have just gotten like the bombs and the hook shot and shit. Potentially, kind of like basically, essentially. Yeah, and most of the save rooms bring me to the other game. Yeah, and then like when I go through Link to the Past and I open a treasure chest, I'll get like a missile upgrade. Yeah, cool. it's exactly like that. So they Damn, just what are you gonna do with that big ass TV? I mean, this one? Yeah, that one. Get rid of it? Give it to somebody. <laughs> Don't really have any plans for it. That TV is better quality. Yeah. Yeah, that's like our childhood TV. You know? That's why I'm kinda like, I don't wanna throw it away if I can give it to somebody who can use it. That's why I didn't just eat it into the dumpster right behind my apartment right now. I mean, you could just leave it by there. It's a perfectly 
functioning TV. Someone could luck out. You know, we can carry on the legacy of our TV. Okay, cool. Pick your poison then. I choose this door. You chose. Oh shit, hell yeah, big. But I like to save, yes. I would, in fact. <laughs> I believe, if I'm not wrong, you can get down to where that crab is. Even right yeah. now, with your current well, abilities. I don't want to. And he'll only slightly go around saying, fuck your father, fuck your father, fuck your father. Wow, you ruined your perfectly good energy at 69. I was at 69? And then you got hit. Damn it. I know. I didn't even notice. Shit. Damn it. Seth, so oh, a lot of E3 news came out yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yo. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. One of my biggest hypes is Super Mario All-Stars. Oh, I thought you were going to say Super Monkey Ball Mania. Also, Super Monkey Ball Mania? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. No, I'm I'm, I'm very stoked for uh, Mario Party Superstars. Um, that game looks fucking Not amazing. just are they actually utilizing the Super Mario Party engine for something worthwhile. Yeah. They're bringing back a million classic video games. They're bringing back like, a bunch games. of new games and a bunch of... And really good boards. I mean, who knows? I think it, really I think they're only doing 64 shit. Yeah, that's what they said, because it was for an anniversary. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I'm not and really that familiar Ball with three. One, two, and, like, I guess three, but the third one... Yeah, Deluxe. I'm not sure. Did you say it's a collection, or...? I thought Deluxe was just, like, it had courses from one and two and a few extras. That was my understanding. It could be way off base. Well, you're exploring the cap the caverns of Zen. Yeah. Let me let me Google that real quick for you. Okay. So I can fact check your pants. Oh please. See, I don't I don't I feel like sometimes I come off like an asshole and like I'm having a disagreement with someone and then I'm like, oh I'm just gonna Google it. It's not that I like want to know that I'm right. It's I just want to know what the truth you is. You want to know what it is? Right? Yeah. But you know, whatever. Who cares oh. what people think? <laughs> this game compiles all stages from Super Monkey Ball and Super Monkey Ball Two, as well as adding original levels. So exactly what I said. This game is also notable for a large number of customizable party mini games, which are many of which are unique Ooh. to Deluxe. Oh, nice. Nice. And it came out in 2005. Okay. So it's the third game, but it's I... like a compilation, basically. Yeah. It's a really good compilation. I remember our cousins had Deluxe, and we had like one and two. Oh. Oh, God. Alright, take my bombs, you pieces of shit. Oh, we now have another commenter. Shameless O'Brien. Shame oh, that's that's not a new one. Well, he yeah, he commented on ago. Shrek 2, right? Yes. What do you mean five minutes ago? Oh, no, you fell off. You have to go the other way. You can't Can I even do this, this yet? And, no, you can't I need the, I need the, the round. Okay. And he ran. That is a picture you can get all your energy back. While you were googling monkey ball, I, I did exactly that. Monkey balls. Hey, so, um, yo. So what's I've been, good, good, I've been watching a lot of like uh, true crime documentaries and like. Uh, okay. Wait, isn't that the show where Alexandria Daddario showed her boobies? What? Or is that True Detective? That's true detective. I was I literally said the word <laughs> true crime documentary and you went to Alexandria and Daria's titties? Hey, who doesn't think about them every now and then? You know what I'm saying? That's fair. Okay. I understand. That, that was some that was some that was some, uh, some choice titties. 
I like how she had her like natural hair color for Percy Jackson 1 and then they dyed it blonde for Percy Jackson 2. I like how Percy Jackson 2 incorporated elements from the 3rd, 4th, and 5th books and then didn't even have the balls to have a sequel. I like how both of those movies are trash garbage. Yes. And a disgrace to the beloved franchise from my childhood. Do you remember how they turned the, the like really clever Medusa Fuck. scene? Where like I think Percy has to use like a like a mirror or something uh -huh. to beat Medusa and then in the movie yeah. he's like iPhone 6 plus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, <really? laughs> I forget like he uses oh, no. his phone screen to fucking uses a mirror oh, and it's like definitely sponsored product if I remember correctly. <laughs> and I was Holy like, shit. And I was like, Percy Jackson brought to you by Ray-Ban. And then like, and Come then, on. And so then if you, do you remember down. the first Percy Jackson book really well? Yeah. Of course, so, I read it do you remember the goddamn climax of that book? The most amazing scene where Percy fights Ares uh, on, yeah. on the water of uh -huh. the beach? Yeah. Totally missing from the movie. Yep. And, like, that's, like, the most cinematic moment of the whole book. I know. I know. Like, I've, yeah, I've, was... I've listened to the audiobook enough times, and it kind of, like, gives uh -huh. you a better, like, way to zone out and kind of picture it in your head. Yeah. Oh, dude, I, I, like... One of my favorite, like, experiences with the Harry Potter series was, like, listening to the audiobooks while I was drifting off to sleep. Oh, really? Like, and playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> But, like, I, there was one night where, like, I was, I basically listened to the entire, like, Battle of Hogwarts just laying on my bed, and it just, like, pictured it, like, so differently than I ever had before. Oh, yeah. Um, and I listened to, like, the whole thing in one night. That's awesome. Son of a bitch. Alright. How, how does this sound? We'll, we'll join the good people next time where we discuss our thoughts on the E3 2021 Nintendo Direct. We talk about Percy Jackson and how Heroes of Olympus sucks. And possibly... Hey, there's one worth about. Possibly. Yep. I would say one and a half. Okay, fair. So, but we'll, we'll okay. talk about it next time. <laughs> All right, All right, join us if you, next hey, episode. Hey, everybody, like, for real, if you're watching this episode, mm -hmm. like, thank you. Seriously. We... We have no viewers. We're just doing this for fun, and it really mean it really does mean a lot. I know at least half of our subscribers you even are clicked on our video. Literally met in real life. Yeah, and I just want to. And shout even out if to all even my if even if to show this show to. Yeah, even if you're a real person that we know watching this, we love you. For real. Even Mad though respect I probably don't know you, but if you're one of my friends, I love you. Oh yeah. Cool. And I love everybody. Um. Yeah. All right. See y'all next time for the continuation of this uh, low, lo-fi energy, cool, groovy playthrough. Okay. Bye bye.